So let's kick things off with the question, why do we actually need a data warehouse in our company? And to understand that and answer that question, we need to look at the two different purposes of how and why we use data in a company. The first and obvious one is for operational purposes. So we want to use the data to receive and fulfill orders. We want to receive complaints and react to them. And we want to use the data to fill up our stock and basically do all of the things that are necessary to keep our company operating and keep the wheel turning. And then of course, we also want to use the data to make better decisions for the future and understand our company. So in here we want to have answers to the question like what is the best category that we are selling products in? Or what is the number of sales that we have this month compared to last month? And of course, very importantly, what can we do to improve things in our company? So basically in here, we now want to evaluate the performance and make better decisions in the future. So while we have the operational data keeping, which we use to keep the wheel turning in the analytical data processing, we now want to watch how that wheel turns and what we can improve in this company. So this operational data keeping is also referred to OLTP, which stands for Online Transactional Processing. And Analytical Processing is referred to OLAP. And the lack of a data warehouse in a company is usually showcased by statements like we have a lot of data, yes, but we can't really use it or we don't really use it because it is very complicated to access, very difficult to analyze, because it's spread all across different systems in our company, very difficult to access, or also things like, I just want to see what is relevant and I want to have this data accessible quick and easily. So we finally want to make fact-based decisions and don't argue about the numbers anymore. So these are all statements that underline the need and maybe also the lack of a data warehouse. So since we have those two different purposes, we also have very different requirements to those systems. So while in the operational data processing, we usually process one record at a time to keep the company operating. And we also usually want to enter some data or edit some data. And usually we are only concerned with current data. And for this reason, we usually don't keep a very long history of the data. And this is now very different in the analytical data processing. So in here, we analyze and get usually thousands and millions of records all at the same time. So for example, we want to analyze the average of the sales in the last six months. And in order to get this information quickly, it is very important to have a fast query performance. And also we want to make sense of this data and therefore we need context. So we want to analyze data over time or across multiple categories. And since we have those very different requirements, it makes a lot of sense to keep those different systems separated. And a data warehouse now is there to address the analytical data needs. So this is basically what a data warehouse is. It's a data location that is used for reporting and data analysis purposes. So that's basically the simple statement and definition of a data warehouse. But now in the next lecture, we want to understand things a little bit more and dive a little bit deeper in understanding what a data warehouse is.